Good morning. We are here to do our Tuesday morning live with you guys. Actually, it's afternoon now. Uh, but we are excited to be here. We are going to be continuing the Gregory Stressor. We're going to be finishing up, finishing it, finishing it. Last time we said we were finishing it, we sealed it. We did a, you good? Yeah, it's just not squared to the back okay. area for some reason. So we did the, last week we did the um, sealing of it, and we did a spray seal, you guys remember, and then we did, actually we did that off camera, huh? Uh, but we did, we filmed it, and yeah. it'll be part of the video, so you'll see that in the video. But we did a spray seal of it, and now we did a couple coats of the spray sealer, and today, hello Emma. Today we are going to be waxing. We're going to be doing a clear wax. And then we're going to be uh, doing a little bit of a dark wax to add just a little bit of aging character to it. So we thought we were going to do that on camera, but Tuesday rolled around and we thought we're going live anyway. Let's just do it with you guys. So. And we might do a section in order to keep it within a reasonable time amount because mm. we want to get it, you know, a piece mm. finished. Yeah, with, that uh, always ends up being wet. Okay. And plus, I got to knock it down just a little bit. So, mm -hmm. boom, boom, boom. All right. We'll get started <clears throat> since we have a lot to do. Yes. I'm going to pull this down. Yes. Do you want to pull this table back at all? Or? No, I don't think so. Okay. Will it sit right there? Will that work? Where is that little stool that we have. Little, the little dark mm -hmm. stool that was just the right height. I guess we could do this. That works. Does that work? Yeah. Okay, great. I think so. Okay, and so then we have got this too, right? Uh huh. Let me, um, there we go. Perfect. So, yeah, here's your this. Like this. Yeah. <laughs> and. Now, and we'll just do the front. Yeah. We can do the top later. Totally. In fact, we may not get the whole front done. I'm not sure. We might. Do we have another sanding block? I can do, I can do yes. some knocking down, too. Yes. I chose the 100 grit. Let me okay. Grit. Yes. Okay. Over here. All right. We've got a lot of people here. Awesome, awesome. And How is everybody this fine Tuesday? I, there we go. So our goal here is to reveal some edges. In fact, I, I don't know. Okay. Let me just lift the whole tripod up and get in close. To, to reveal some edges which is a fun way to add a little age, but also to um, bring out the details on a piece that are inherent. So. And we always like that. It's personal preference. Yeah, we like a little bit of character and a little bit of age. But yeah. I think most of us here are the same. But once in a while, it is fun to see um, the community just doing some modern pieces, some more smooth. This piece is called for a little bit of detail pop. You know what? It, Sorry you, about the noise. A little better. Yeah. Sanding mode is never And then a little knockdown on the surface to any little bits of, um, you know, roughness or anything as well as on the inlay, just really light. Mm -hmm. With the sealer though, I find that the inlay is pretty intense, which is nice. Yeah. We even got some hardware to put on from the local shop here. Not too shabby, Bobby, but not too shabby, but just up with some pretty clear holes for this. 
this piece, which we thought would be nice. There's oh, yeah. Beautiful right? farmhouse. No, they're inside. I'll sure, grab the clear glass, yeah. you know, the glass hexagon I'll go grab and the pool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we thought, oh, when we um, were thinking of what kind of handles to put on it, we thought, oh, those clear glass ones would be perfect for this piece. So we'll see how what you guys think. <clears throat> now, we touched on the fact that we applied two sprayed on coats of sealer on this. Um, but it's worth repeating that having those sprayed on coats be thoroughly on and thoroughly dry so you're encapsulating your pigment, especially when you're dealing with really dark and um, or particularly uh, dense pigment, which our inlays have very dense pigment. You want that encapsulated so that unless you're doing something where you want it to stay active so that you can sand it and wipe it without pigment migration. It's very, very important. Oh, oh my goodness, pretty? can you guys see that? They can't see it very Here, well. Here, you, you show it on that side, on the oh. annual. There we go. Now, these are actually, move your hand out. There we go. There we go. How pretty, oh, if we could look at these so pretty. Yeah, they will, they'll be gorgeous. These are, mm -hmm. oh. We're going to have to actually play so over one of the holes yeah. because these okay. are three inches and the holes are three and a half. So you guys have probably been in that situation where you've got to change the holes, the pretty knobs. Yeah, because <laughs> these ones are just, I don't know, I feel like they're perfect for this. They are 100%. Okay. Is that your? I think oh. so. <laughs> Another thing when you're sanding, if you have any texture variation between where your inlay paper was and where your brush strokes show that weren't covered by it, taking a moment to hit those will help just kind of blend those. Our Linda said that she loves this for, uh, sorry, inlay, not inlay, and that she has it in my like headboard and mm. actually... Liz that Rendich really um, did this on a headboard for wall art, a couple small headboards. She divided it and did it on some. So check out Ellen J. Good and see what she did there. That might give you some inspiration. Yeah. the shop house over on the workbench. Just 
dress, just a light. Um, we'll get some close-up pictures of it. Yeah. Um, so you guys can see. But just, it was just a light, light distress. And then the clear wax is really going to pop this design. Here you go. I am so looking forward to finishing up this piece and just seeing it as we envisioned it. Isn't that your favorite part, just the finishing up and seeing it finally come to fruition? And it feels like it's always just a little, if not a lot, different than what you initially envisioned it at, but at the same time, um, just as good, if not better, than what you had planned. So that's true. That's the case with us so many times. So true. <laughs> This just looks so beautiful with this vintage typography. Mm. The gray grease is such an awesome anyway because it there's you can get so many uses. In fact, over here, off to the side here, you can see we have the inlays that we removed from this piece waiting for another project we don't know what yet but it'll yeah. be we'll be applying that to something else yeah and with every project it just gets a little more character it brings a little bit of the life from the project before um and it just gets better and better excuse me it's probably right <laughs> right in the, right in the mic. That's okay. We'll just edit that out. Yes. Okay. It's the beauty of the lives. You guys get to oh, hear awesome. all the stuff <laughs> that doesn't get edited out. <laughs> all right. Know, so. okay. Yes. Okay, we're going to start right. the clear wax coat now. We did a knockdown for those of you just getting here. We did a cool knockdown um, with a sanding block just lightly. Um, to pop some of the edges and, and detail. And now we're gonna put a clear wax mm -hmm. coat on there. Just a light clear wax. Ooh, look how it pops that. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Sorry that this is kind of a, a little bit of the boring stuff, um, but we knew that you guys would probably want to have this included just so you get the complete picture. I know when I'm looking up how to do something, I always appreciate when they include all the steps, not just the more complicated ones, but even the simple ones. Yep. Ooh, look That's at that. Cool. Ooh, 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 ooh. I love yeah. the wax step. Yeah. I'm a fan funny. of clear wax. Yes. I know it's, it is <laughs> so each step has its mm -hmm. own like reveal. Now I'm just going to say this because people have a tendency, like I do this all the time, to come into a tutorial, video tutorial halfway through and they haven't gotten all the pre-information. This is very, very important. This is sealed. We already went over it with a spray sealer and that's why we're putting a clear wax on this. Yes, two coats inside. Is two coats of spray sealer. So this clear wax, you would not want to go over an inlay, a fresh inlay with a clear wax because the rubbing of it is going to smear and reactivate that paint. So you want to make sure to do a nice spray sealer first. Okay. I just love the way a clear wax just pops that color and contrast. And just brings out yes. the most gorgeous satiny sheen. It's good and clean. Wow, you're fast. I'm talking too much. <laughs> I, I didn't say it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. You know what I think I might do? When you do the dark wax, I am going to go full screen with that camera 
and just watch you. Just um, okay. get it a bit more. Okay. Get it more better. On Not you. to get ahead of ourselves about this, but we're since we're doing the clear wax, it's worth noting that clear if you're going if you want to introduce dark or black wax into your surface, clear waxing first gives you more control with your darker wax. Um, because especially, and especially on really porous surfaces, which this is no longer super porous, but it still stands. You have more control because the clear wax, it almost creates a base of a movable clear, um, if that makes sense, so that you've got more movement, kind of like how water gives you more movement with your watercolor pigments mm -hmm. on a surface. It doesn't just suck it up immediately. So we always do clear wax before, and it makes the whole process more forgiving. So like yeah. I've gone, at probably most people who have used dark wax have had an experience or two of just getting it too heavy. Yep. Whereas if you do a base of clear wax, like I said, it keeps it more movable, movable for you, more forgiving, and you can even more easily lighten up your dark wax with a little bit of clear wax later, mm. after the fact, before it's cured. But like, you know, on the same day when you're going in and trying to, if you notice, oh, it's a little heavy hair, you have a little more forgiveness. Okay. Here we go. I was having to read Did you already do this? Um, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. Whoop, whoop. All right. We're just cooking with gas over here. We're moving right along. We're only... 15 minutes in and we're ready for dark wax. Nice. Okay. I am going to move the cameras around while Joseph is finishing that up. Okay. And take this off okay and there we go okay right foot and center front and center <laughs> yeah okay all right so Josie's gonna start going on with dark wax We've already done the coat of clear wax. Yes, and I'm just going to start right on this drawer here. All right. And I should show. I just took, I put some on a paper plate. Let's change the angle of this. Oh, yeah, I'm blocking it. Yeah. Okay. okay. I'm just, I put some on a paper plate. And I took a little bit of it and over here on the side offloaded it and got it spread evenly, evenly and lightly on my brush. And I'm just going to go in and start applying it. And I don't know, maybe we'll get a That'll little bit. A... Yeah. And there we go. You almost kind do of a section it. at a time before removing and that's because again the dark waxes tend to they've got some staying power mm -hmm. <laughs> so and you can always go in heavier later so yeah okay now I'm going to 
buff some of that out perfectly with a clean uh, white shop towel. Very nice. Very nice. You like? Mm -hmm. And the thing with wax is it's it's until it sets up, it's movable. You don't see the movement. It's not like you immediately see it moving, but you'll notice as you are buffing and working in an area, it'll slowly move and lighten and change a bit. Mm -hmm. Very pretty. What do you think about the amount? Yeah. It's good. You like? like it? Yeah. Do you think I should lighten it up in the center at all? Leave it as is? Maybe a little. Well, let's let's go ahead and do that with okay. the clear wax. The clear wax. Okay. Take in just a little bit, just like the same offloading, right? Mm -hmm. And then just get in here like this. And you can see it lightens it up pr pretty instantly, though mm -hmm. not so fast that it's like harsh. Mm -hmm. so, it's still soft. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's better. I like that. Yeah. Brightens it up a little bit. Yeah, and mm -hmm. kind of brings out the vignetting that right. you can do if you want. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the edges too. Okay. Or, yeah, we'll do that. Because we're not, um, so here I went on a little heavier than I want, so I'm going to go ahead and back it off again with some of the clear. You like using the shop towels. I yes. do. I do. It? They tend to be a nice um, in between between um, uh, fabric, yeah, and cloth. And I do. I do like them.
much of what you do in furniture artistry is so intuitive that you just start doing it and um and so sometimes when you're instructing in it you have to remember like oh yeah i did this or i did this you know what i mean mm -hmm. because you just kind of start going and yeah feel your way through it it's true and that's something that i have especially if you get really like hyper focused on yeah it, so totally Okay. Nice. Right. Do we want to um, break and do and put some of the hardware on and then do the rest off camera? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's a great Sound idea. Good? So then we can edit it for everybody to enjoy yes. in a more condensed fashion. Yeah. <laughs> a more efficient way. Yes. Sounds good. Okay, let me put this on here. Okay. There we go. Sorry, guys. I'm kind of talking to myself as I'm doing this. <laughs> yeah, I think we might we might should do add the hardware after and add pictures later uh -huh. uh, because we need to um, do our opening of the drawers in order oh, to screw the right, right, right. That's on. true. Okay, <laughs> okay. So then so. we'll just put this up here. Yeah, and pull it out. <laughs> it's a quick one today, guys. Just a little bit. A little bit of everything. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Um, looks like we lost Facebook. Sorry, guys. If we lost you, um, we there is an, an issue connecting to Facebook for some reason. We apologize. Um, okay. So let's go for here. All right, thanks for joining us for this quick and a little bit funky um, live where we just kind of showed you our process in clear waxing and adding a little bit of dark wax and age as well as buffing um, beforehand. That was beforehand. Um, how long does it take the wax to cure? Somebody, you know, asked. that's going to vary between manufacturers, and True. so you need to check the label on whichever type of wax you're using. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay, we will get this on YouTube for you guys in a way, like I said, that's efficient and streamlined and you can watch from beginning to end um, without all the crazy chaos and chitter chatter and all the things that make a life fun. <laughs> so we'll talk to you guys later. Have an awesome week. Bye.